My name is Philip Bridges and I'm the head of the gorilla section here at Portland Wild Animal Park. Uh, the gorilla I'm playing with today, her name is Emmy and she's uh, 19 years old. Well I've known Emmy pretty much all her life. She came to us from another zoo in France when she was about three years old. Her relationship's pretty strong, yeah, so I've known her for a very long time. Yeah, so um, yeah, she, she knows me intimately as well as much as I know her really. Emmy. So once you've built up that rapport, then when you're going in, let the gorillas come to you. Generally, the more you go in, the easier it gets. They do test you out from time to time. Well, Emmy's often enjoyed a tickle. It's something that all gorillas do to each other. They might not necessarily do it like we do, tickling under the armpits and and you know using using their hands because they quite often they'll they'll use their teeth. They 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 bite. They play bite. <laughs> they'll find whoever they're playing with, they'll find their ticklish spots. If Emmy's in the mood, in, in the right mood, when, when you tickle her, she'll laugh, she, they giggle. They're much tougher than humans. You really sometimes have to really dig in for them to, to find it really ticklish. You know, but at other times, it, you don't even have to touch them. If they're in that in that sort of heightened state of play that they sometimes get in, you only have to pretend that you're going to tickle them and they start laughing before you've even touched them. It's a nice feeling when they're when they've accepted you enough that they don't mind you tickling them and they then you know, respond you know by laughing. So um, yeah, I don't uh, yeah, that was, that's a really nice feeling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>